welcome back to my channel it's me Maya Majesty and I just want to say thank you so much to everybody that has subscribed so far to me it really means a lot to me and I appreciate it each and every last one of you it gives me motivation to keep doing this so I know you saw that I started off this video with a quick building of this thing behind me basically this is just gonna be for what i want to do in the episode long story short it's a to do list that's all it is it's just a big cute simple to-do list last episode or really not last episode i guess i told y'all i would finish building it off camera just because I had to do all the decorations and stuff like that. So this is my starter home. I am actually very proud of it. It came out a little bit better than I thought. It looks great in the thumbnail, I really must say. It's just, it's just a start. That's all it is, it's just a starter, you know? I'm going to keep it up, but that's pretty much all it is. Nothing much going on with it. Just a little simple starter house. But, like I said, I am very proud of it. Very proud of it. A wandering trader came along. That's how I was able to actually get like the cyan color that you see because I was able to get some cactus and make that and grow that so I could get the beautiful blue color that I love so much. It's one of my favorite colors. If you once you get to know me, I love the color. I mean, it's I know my lips are like a light blue, but it's like that's my color. Anyways, first things first, I am going to sleep all right now let's actually discuss what I want to accomplish today and what's going on this board or let me say in this video <clears throat> let me say what I want to accomplish in this video because I'm got some it's cut because this is not going to be an adventure video this is just a let's get my starter base started video. So number one, I want to start a veggie farm. Number two, I want to make an animal barn. Number three, I want to start a mine going down to deep slate. Now I say start a mine, that does not mean decorating it. I will not be decorating this mine. I just want to start it and know where it's going to be at. That's pretty much it. Number four, get a storage area. Because let's face it, this is not what's in there. I barely have any storage. It's pretty much full, but I need an area for that. And I don't want it in there just because that place is actually very tiny. Y'all saw the inside, it's not big. I don't know where I'm gonna put it, but I think I, I don't know. I don't know yet. I guess we'll see. Um, for right now, that's all I got. I don't really have much else. If I think of something else that I really, really, really want to get accomplished in this video, then I will add it to the board. Once it's done, I might come underneath it and put done underneath. I don't know. I'll figure it out. These are some tall spruce trees. Like, Oh, like, I know they grow tall, but this right here, this is kind of ridiculous. I am going to have spruce wood for days. Oh my gosh. Wow. You know what? I think I'm going to go. Mm. I think I'm going to go ahead and chop it down. Wow, three full stacks and six. I knew it was going to end up being a lot. I really don't like this pot soil. Let me tell you that. I'm not a fan. 
but I knew that was going to happen, but I did need more spruce wood. You know, I never usually use spruce, but I'm trying it out this time. Okay, I feel like the first thing I should do is to start the farm. Honestly, I feel like that's the smartest thing to do. That way stuff can be growing as I start like actually building the barn and stuff for the animals. I did not know that you could not like actually just hold like puzzle that I'm gonna have to go through and do that just to hold a puzzle is kind of crazy to me. Ooh. Hat bag. Oh, it's a baby snowman. That's cute. I don't know where it's going, but I kind of like the path is going to like start going that way. Okay, so I don't really have many seeds, not as many as I thought I did at all. I guess I really just have not been exploring like I thought I had. So I only have that much wheat. I have no carrots, I have no beetroot, and I have potatoes. So this little farm will just be an ongoing project. I really need to go out and try to find like the other things. No, it's a little random the way I just did that. Mm. Cause I don't, I don't want it to go on there. I don't know if it will or not, but I would rather not chance it. There we go. That'll be fine for now. I do have some sugar cane. I may just make like a little temporary sugar cane area. Just so I can say I have it. This will definitely not be it forever. It's just I need somewhere to place it for now. Actually, I think I might just place it down this little pond. Just to say I have it. And boom, I think that's fine for now. 
Imagine we get the 1.21 update and we actually have different dog types. And they don't have to be modded. What are you? Why? Why? I'm taking a few lanterns just because of the fact that it was some recipes I want to do for like lamp lights and stuff, but it needed lanterns and I really don't have any iron like that. I just found some, but that's not enough for what I need. So why not just steal the lanterns from them? Okay, so I came to this dungeon that we saw and I passed by, I guess. I don't know why I remember actually coming through the dungeon and actually going through it and raiding it. Maybe I was just on my world where I was just really wasn't doing much and I'm just playing on it just to be playing on it. But I see now I have not gone through this dungeon in this world. Therefore, I have not gotten anything out of here. All the stuff that I know you can get from these places, I have not gotten any of it. Which is slaying so much. And why my girl was just really struggling. But. Yeah. So. <laughs> I would go through a couple of these corridors. To try to like get some like the little. Because I know you can get. Because I know you can get food and stuff out of them. But. I don't want to put myself through that right now. So. We're going to leave. And we'll be back to this eventually. Look at that cake. Look at it. Just all break through and get a couple of slices. But, like I said, I don't feel like going through it. Y'all, I see something on the edge of my map. I don't know what that is up there, but I'm thinking about heading up there. Just because it's not too far, and I hopefully it's a better village than these. I don't even really know what it is. It might be just another dungeon. But I'll see y'all in a second. Look, y'all, it's another village. I did not realize that one was right over there. Hopefully, they have some stuff. Hello. And I am interrupting the video. So one, tell you to subscribe if you're still here. Thank you for watching. And make sure you, you subscribe. Tell your friends. Go ahead and hit that like button. But bigger than that, I just wanted to let you guys know to try my um code out and try Dubby. I'm going to put it on the screen. So I've been using Dubby for a little while now. And it is actually pretty yummy. Sometimes you get like these energy drink like little component things and they do not taste good at all. They have a weird aftertaste. This is not the case with Dubby. It is actually really, really good. And they have a starter kit that actually does not cost too much. Plus, for a really, 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 really short time, you're able to use my code which has been on the screen right in front of you the whole time. You can use my code, my majesty, and that's M-A-I-M-A-J-E-S-T-Y, which, like I said, is right above my head. You can use my code the remainder of today and tomorrow to get 20% off. Other days, it's 10%, but right now, they're doing a special to where you get 20% off. So... Why not go ahead and try it out for yourselves and see how it is? Do the sample pack. I'm telling you, it's well worth it. And I've been testing out for a little while. I actually have been testing out this particular flavor. And it works. It's good. It works. I've never had any issues with it. And it actually does give me energy and no jitters, like it says. So give it a try. Also, if y'all wondering where I'm at, I am in my just regular play world. 
<laughs> that I do on my off time. That's why I'm underwater. That's why you see this wood. That's why I have a crown on my head. Because, yeah. But, back to the other video. Later on, I will be coming to ransack this village just because this is quartz. And I love building with quartz. Okay, so I'm in this village. I started going through it, ransacking, looking through all the chests just to see like what y'all have because I'm really here looking for a couple of things. So far, I have not found those couple of things, but I digress. Anyways, as you can see, I'm getting a bunch of food for me to actually eat now. It's still not the food I need to plant, but it's food <laughs> regardless. Yeah, it's just a whole bunch of bookshelves everywhere. I got a couple of little bit of fish here, which is gonna be good for taming a cat eventually, because I still don't have one. And let's see, I think I also got some sugar and some bottles. I mean, free bottles. Who doesn't love that? I almost thought that was another village over there. It's a little campsite. He might have some stuff. Let me save this point. Let me save this point so I can come back here. We'll just, I'll name it Quartz Village. I can't believe I still have yet to find, like, any other vegetables. See, I've been on top of this one before in a different world, so I knew that this was here. Ooh, I kind of forgot what all was in it, though, but I knew it would be good. I wish there was some diamonds in it, but I will take this. Go to that little campsite. Let's hope it's something good out there. Please tell me it's something good. This would have been nice when I was starting, but I, I don't need to start. <laughs> Y'all, I just came to the map just to see if I saw anything of interest. Y'all, what in the world is that? that that'll be another day. Why? I don't even want to go see what that, oh my gosh. This world has a lot, and I just have yet to discover any of it. Uh -huh. Well, this was a letdown. Got plenty of food. I don't need food. Exactly. I want it. Gosh dang. Other foods that I could plant. And none of y'all have, have any. It's just a bunch of fish in here. Ah. 
stuck down there anyway I guess let me take myself back to my house this is nothing here well I mean it was some stuff here and some good stuff but it wasn't what I needed okay imagine when it's like when it's all full and I can just wake up and just see just that just all my lovely 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 garden I think that's gonna be so beautiful and then if I put a couple of flowers here and make that into an actual pond that's actually decorated and not just that it'll be beautiful so as you can see where I am I am back in a dungeon so I recorded this and I thought I was recording my voice but I guess I wasn't but I thought it would be nice just to show y'all most of the chests that I went through and how I got a bunch of loot down. So this is how I ended up getting like a bunch of gold, a bunch of that. I had a little run in with some skellies down here. I don't know what I was doing. Let me tell you, this comeback is not it. I don't know what was going on, if I'm being honest with you. But back to looting. We just went around looking at all the different chests. That's how I got a bunch more potatoes. I already had a lot of potatoes. But, yeah. Got a bunch of stuff. That's how I got some sugar cane. A bunch of other stuff. It was very dark in this area. That's how I actually got the start of some bamboo. So I didn't even have to find a jungle. There go my carrots. But I'm glad I found it. If you're wondering or y'all see me building with some glowstone and doing like some glowstone things without having gone to the nether, this is how. I got a couple of like that from there. But I am super happy about the whole, whatever that's called. So this little area, basically it's, I guess a plant area, basically. So I found like two maybe three of those total and you're gonna see me with a couple of saplings that i'm gonna eventually plant with like random trees and you're gonna be like i don't remember her going to that place well this is why because i'm just able to get that that's also how i got some beetroot now this is a secret room that i knew about just because on my free time i play and i've been in this dungeon before but this is how i got my first enchanting table i'm end up getting a bunch of these books oh my goodness so i'll be able to have like a full enchanting setup without even having like a lot of dom diamonds because let's face it i barely have some that's why i need to make the mine this little area thank goodness for my mini map because i would not have known about this area or known where it was at because it's different every time got a bunch more emeralds and stuff i am going to end up taking those note blocks because i mean why not i don't know what i'm going to use them for yet but just the fact that i can have them that's really all I cared about. And yes, I end up getting the ones on the other side. Or you probably can see on a little bit on your screen. Now this part down there, that's like the bottom, bottom part. They actually have really good armor. And if I kill them, sometimes I can get it. But I'm not going down there today. I wasn't even really supposed to come in this place. Like I said earlier, I want to come in here. I end up hearing the little traitor, goblin traitor man. So I was like, let me find him. I found him. This is me attempting to get down because I could hear a bunch of zombies and everything. And I did not want to perish. I had too much stuff. This is me steady trying to get down. Let me tell you, I had to cut out a bunch because it took me forever. I don't know why it took me so long to get down here. I, well, I didn't know how many bad guys there were down there. And you see Mr. Leon. This is how I got a bunch more iron just because I was able to like actually trade with him with all of that raw iron I had. It's nice. And then I came home. 
that's that's pretty much that. I went ahead and came home, ran home, ran up there, planted, cause what was our goal? To start a veggie farm. So I was like, oh, let's plant. Let's go ahead and get this going. I got more potatoes. Remember, I had already planted some potatoes, but I'm gonna be planting some more potatoes, which I guess is good. And then that's my beetroot. I didn't find too many seeds, as you can see. But as you can see, we were able to actually start a full veggie farm. It was going to really get on my nerves if I was not able to start a full veggie farm. As you can see in the little thing. But next, we're going to be working on the barn area. Okay, so I think I've chosen this area over here. If you look that way, that's my house. That's my garden. And I think I'm going to like let this like little area maybe right behind the flowers and up this hill and stuff like that. That's where my animals are going to go. It's far enough away from me so I won't have to hear them all the time. And I think it'll just be nice just to see them in the distance. I normally have them super close to me. This time I really don't want that. So. I'm just going to get to clearing this. <clears throat> it'll probably take me a little bit of time, but for you, it'll just be a couple of seconds. Okay, so I went ahead and I made like a little pathway over here. So I will eventually make it look better, kind of like the pathway in front of my house. But I don't feel like doing it right now, so. Okay, I think I like that better. Now I could just run up here and boom. So I cleared out a little bit of area. Now keep in mind, like I've said before, this is just a little temporary something. This is all just starter, okay? So it may not be like the most beautiful, but it's going to be something. I already went ahead and grabbed a couple of like little things that I might use. I didn't know which fences I wanted to use. We're going to see. Um, yeah, we'll plant that right there. That's a pretty tree. I don't know whether I like this combination. See, with these gates, you have to place them just right so that it'll do like that. So, boom, it'll just open like that. Do I like that? Or do I like... You know, I think I like this one better. Just because it kind of is a mix between that and this. I got this because I was like, hmm, this could be cute somehow. Like maybe I'll do something like that and that tiki torch on top. Mm. Okay, so what if I do that and then I put a tiki torch on top? Like this? Mm, mm. I want it taller. So if y'all couldn't tell, I don't plan this stuff out before I do it. I just come and experiment. Because I don't really know what I want to do. Until I actually start doing it. Okay, so what if we do that? Then we do... See, that's what it is. That's too small. I think... I need this. Which means I need more spruce logs. Okay, 
yeah, that gives it a little bit of dimension. I think I kind of like that. And then I'll cover it up, and then whenever I need to do something, I can easily open it, and boom. But that means I'm going to need more... That's better. Okay, so let's just start to put out some fencing. Oh, I do kind of like mixing it in. It gives it. Yeah. Can I jump on? Yeah, if I can jump on this, they can definitely jump on this. What if I... Nope. What up? You know what? I don't know. I kind of like that. And that would. Okay. Okay. Let's see if I can find any animal close by. That's a goat. That does not help me. I don't need goats. I don't need goats. <coughs> oh! How dare you! I need other animals. Wow, the fact that I had to come all the way over here for some sheep. Alright, come on sheep. Look at the witch! She is so pretty. She's evil, but she is so pretty. Oh my goodness. Is, I think, is that my village over there? I think it is. Oh, no? Oh, hmm.
Wow, I'm up high. Come on. There's a creeper. Come on. I need to tie y'all to the fence. Tie out to a fence. No, 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 no. Oh, I forgot I'm not running. No, don't you blow up. Okay. Oh, okay. Over. It's a child. Can you jump over? Okay, so no, it looks like they can't. If I put y'all in here, y'all can't come out. Wait. I hate that so much. Well, that just is horrible. Okay. Well, at least I know that they should be like stuck in here. Okay. So now I need to actually make more fences, right? <laughs> oh, okay. Let's continue <laughs> what I was doing in the first place. This one, this one, dang it, I'm gonna need more spruce. Ooh, I see a grab bag. You know, that makes me wonder if there's one up there with the skeletons that have passed. Did y'all see that? He tried to jump in front of my eyesight. Oh, and look at this. Like, I'm not trying to look at you. Ooh, another one. Well, of course it would start raining, because why wouldn't it? I'm not 
to get a little bit of this wood off of this tree just to start. I need to cut it all the way down. Which, you know what? I'll go ahead and cut it all the way down. I feel like cutting this tree down, but I will. I don't think this one is too big. Okay, and boom, just like that, we have our little area for my animals. You know, just a little starting area, like I said. I think it's really cute. I think I want to, if I can, which I do have mangroves. So I think when I actually do my actual animal area I want to bring in a little bit of red especially because I have the autumn leaves close over here and I think it would just be so pretty because it kind of matched with this color I wish I could get a sap in the drop real quick I don't want to take all the leaves down I just need a sapling or two there we go let me see if I can get one more because I like how they did the effects, kind of like the cherry grove. That's kind of what it reminds me of with the leaves falling and everything. I think that is so nice. I'm getting my apples and sampling. Really? You don't believe in any saplings? None. Oh, I got one of that? Okay, I got two. I don't know when I got the other one, but sure. I think having one right here would be cute. And one right here. That'd be cute. And. That'd be really cute. All right, so now that I have my area, now I just need my animals. Okay, so I do want my sheep over here. I don't want them in this pen. Come on, you're not stuck, get out. Come on. I think this pen would be nice for them. Come on in. You can do it. Now the task to get the other three types of animals. Alright. Okay, I almost forgot about these little hat bags. So let's see what we got. A candle. Cute. Interesting. <laughs> a carrot on the <a> stick. <laughs> that is really cute. Okay. And an ice dragon skull. Huh. Okay. Cool. Let's put back on. The one that I'm going to wear for a while now. Until I find something else that I just love. But yeah, okay. Those are, those are nice. I spy with my little eye. A little piggy. Do you have a friend nearby? Oh, you do have a friend nearby. Come on. Okay, I need y'all to come in here for a second. 
Come in here. Get in here. Because I need to fix this ground. I don't like how it's that. Okay, now y'all can come on. Come on, piggies. Welcome to y'all's new home. Come on in here. Get in here. There you go. Good piggies. Okay, I got sheep and pigs. I need cows and chickens. Okay, chicken. I got a chicken. It's just one chicken, but it's a chicken. Normally they spawn in more than one, but I guess this one just said, no, they want to be alone. It's okay. I just have to either find another chicken or wait for them to start spawning. Um... Come on. Let's see. Try to be nice and let you walk yourself, but you act like you can't do it. I need to start. You know, they're pretty, but they hurt. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put a bunch of these just mm, right here for now. Just so I can start actually growing some. Alright, that's fine. More chickens. Actually... Do I have any eggs that I could just throw? I doubt it, but it's worth the look. Yeah, I kind of figured I didn't have any, but, you know, like I said, it was worth the look. I probably shouldn't be out here at nighttime, but I am. I think I'm about to turn around because I see a lot of red over there, like a lot of red, and I don't want to deal with any of them. Okay, now I'll go deal with it because some of them are going to perish due to the sun. And hopefully they'll give me some more hats. One that's different than the one that I have on currently. moving fast enough oh that was scary okay at least it's not too terribly close to my house Anybody else perish over here? Oh, I thought I would get. Oh, pay me no mind. Nobody else? That's it. We get. Skeleton eye. Interesting. Still nothing that I would want to replace this one with. Oh, we got another chicken. Great. Come on. 
Ooh. Well, chickens slow fall, don't they? Just one animal I'm missing now. <laughs> Did y'all see that? Oh, I know y'all saw that. Y'all remember that building? I am so excited to go in there. I've never been in one of those before. I don't know what type of stuff is in there. It's a bunch of chickens and sheep. Wow. Wow. That looks like it's going to be horrible to explore. Okay, just because I'm in an area called Highland, that doesn't mean that you can just not give me any cows. Okay, y'all. Lord, I found them. I want to bring back all three of them just because of how much trouble I went through to find any cows. <laughs> Okay, let's see if I can actually get them home. See, if I didn't, if I wouldn't have had so much trouble, y'all look at how you can like actually start to see my house and stuff on the horizon. But yeah, if I didn't have so much trouble finding them, probably would just take the two. But this, this was horrible. We are almost to your new home. Come on. Have made it home and two of you get to eat well you know what I won't do that three of you get to eat and stay in there y'all adorable and then y'all can eat thank you and then y'all can eat Y'all get to eat. I am super happy now that I've gotten all of them. I finally get to tick this off of my board. So we've got the veggie farm. We've got the animal barn. If you can call that a barn, which is close enough. Now I either, I, I'm either going to do the mine I want to do a storage area. I don't know yet. But we'll figure it out in just one moment. Okay, so I decided I'm going to go. Well, not actually go. But I decided that I actually am going to build the storage room first. After the storage room, then I'll build a, build a mine entrance. I really need to go and do the path. <laughs> Because I've noticed I need pathways. Anyways. I've cleared an area over here. It's going to be a very, 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 very simple build. Nothing too big or anything. 
just something nice that I can put my stuff in for now. And then I might eventually repurpose it into something else whenever I build my bigger actual base they'll have the storage within that but yeah first I need some sand it's another one of those wow that's a lot closer than that other one hmm I just have to remember that's over here I probably won't but what I'll do is I'll save it as a waypoint and it's turtles over here so if I want it to I can breed some all right let's get sand I don't know whether I want the base to be made out of this. Like I'm trying to decide what would that look like. Let's go back one more. Maybe one more bag. Yeah, that'll be fine. If I walk in. Now, if I wanted to. I think this can just be like a huge chest room, right? I'm thinking I might 
do it that way. Okay, what if I do it like that? And it means when I walk in, it'll be a little cramped, but it's just like a little square. I kind of like that. Part of me wonders what would this look like. Oh, and then I can do one more right there. Yeah. Okay, that is a proper little chest area. I think that's nice to start off with. Now, as for the rest of this, let's see. Dang it, I'm going to have to go get some more spruce. Definitely need some more spruce wood. Also, I guess I can go ahead and put these down. You gotta have a button to open them. for now we can leave it right there it's not really harming anything all right so I need to make this go up higher <laughs> that was actually nice like I don't know what to make the walls out of. I'm thinking I might do a little bit of maybe hmm. let's see what if I do this right let me cook let me cook I don't know whether or not I want to do this. I might, I might do this. Hmm. See, cause the thing is, this is also going to go up, right? Like it's gonna go up. So it's like, how do I wanna do this? Cause I can do even more chests like on that part because that will give me just a little bit more be very cluttered maybe take this one off
maybe like that and then I could bring these towards the front like that but maybe strip them Okay, I don't hate that. And then with the lanterns. Okay, I don't hate that. I kind of like the opening. Because it gives just a little glimpse. Dang it, I need a button on this side. right now we'll just do that <laughs> okay I don't hate it I don't really need glass in this one I kind of wanted a little bit of glass but really and truthfully why do I need windows like I'm trying to decide like do I want to do a window right here and then that's gonna just be well you know what let me see but Like I kind of like it. See, because part of me wants to put the white stained glass just because it would match my house, right? Okay, now would I want to, to put it all the way up? question no I wouldn't because it would mess with that but I could easily just put this right there it's a whole lot of money in this I guess it's a little bit of character is I can go around to every corner and do that okay I think I like that I still don't know how I'm gonna do this back part back here but I mean I guess technically it would be this too. Okay. I do need some light on the inside. I just thought about that. I have nothing. But I could go ahead and put that lantern, which will add a little bit more of that blue to the inside. Okay, just so it won't just be a bunch of darkness in here I think I'm gonna go grab a lantern I think I want to add in some of these definitely big on having these these I'm telling you these make a break up place maybe it's just me but I think they make a break any type of thing
Okay, so for the most part, it's done. I don't know how I'm going to do the roof. I'm going to do something simple, but for right now, it's done. We're going to call it done for now. I'll work on it. Maybe off camera. I don't really know. But it's something a little simple. I still need to do a little bit more, but it is something for now, you know? Have a little bit of character for now. I need to work on actually... Filling this up with chest now, but yeah. Okay, so what we think, this is a very simple chest room with a, a pretty decent amount of storage, if I must say. It's better than what I got going on over there. <laughs> I have room to put stuff. So I guess like I can make this side be wood, this side be stone. I don't really know. Guess we'll figure it out. Valuables. But yeah, I think, I think that's perfect. Okay, so that ticks off another thing off my list. We got the veggie farm, we got the animal barn, and we got a storage area now. Last thing is just to start a mine and going down the deep. So like, and like I said at the beginning, I'm just starting the mine. It's not going to be decorated or anything. It's just I need to figure out where it's going to go, how I want to do it, and yeah, that's that's it. Okay, so while I was sorting out the inventory over here and stuff like so that one mangrove proper gill <laughs> that I had that I showed y'all a while ago I went ahead and I grew it so I can get a little bit of mangrove wood because I thought it would look nice which I think it does look nice with these colors and everything of course I still need to make some more signs I don't feel like doing it right now I didn't feel like doing it then but I do have a lot of things separated now. A lot of the inventory is doing well. I really could put like another row up there, the row over there if I really need to. I think right now I'm fine with what I have. But the last thing on my agenda was actually making my mind at least to start it, right? So I know as you can see. While I was doing the separating everything, it took me a couple of days. I don't even know what day we left off on. But I did find another hat. And this one is a little bit better than the other one just because it matches slightly. It's, of course, a couple of other hats I wish I have gotten, but I haven't gotten yet. So I was like, this one will be fine for now. It's basically doing its job, which is all I need it for. So... I always knew this big old hole was over here, this big old cave. I did run through it a little bit just to see what was in there and all that. Lit up a couple of little areas with a bunch of torches. I like this idea of this being like my big mine entrance. Eventually, I would love to like have mine carts going around. Like I could see it going around in a circle until I make it all the way down. I love that idea. I don't know exactly how I would do it, but I think all I'm going to do for right now is I just want to build down to Deep Slate. I don't know if I want to like just start it on the side. Like I could go into that little area and just start to dig down.
because you can see this is a cave and it actually goes as you can see from the mini map it's a lot it's a lot to it as i was going around i didn't even light up the whole area it was just too much to light up it really was too much to light up but i lit up as much as i felt like doing if if anything i could just start from right here and just start mining down to deep slate just so i can have at least a little part of entrance right there and then later i could actually i don't know i don't know i have ideas i might even let this i don't know i have ideas i might even just let this go down deep and eventually make that into like my little nether area that might be what i do i don't know let me sleep real quick okay I think I made up my mind. I think I'm going to start right here and just mine down to deep slate. I'll probably make this triple, quadruple timed just so it's not just slow watching me slowly descend down. I think that's what I'm going to do. I think that'll be nice. And I do think I'm going to make it just one by one for now. Yeah. A lot of iron right here oh my goodness I know I'm getting sidetracked because this is not what I was supposed to be doing can y'all see that blue thing or that blue stuff in like the in my mini map that's what I want to find I think I have an idea of what that is and if it is that I want to find that and I want to find it now. I hate when it does sounds like that. Like, oh my goodness. Is what I thought it was. Y'all, I'm so happy I found this. Y'all can't tell me that this type of it's called the glowing grotto. That's what it's called. But you can't tell me this glowing moss isn't. So much prettier than the regular moss. Like, look at it. It's so magical. And I know tech, this is just like a little small portion of it because they do have bigger biomes of this. But I see that's not the case this time. Another thing I love is how it glows. Like it actually gives off a little bit of a light level. I heard my friend. I don't know where he's at. Ah, 
Ah, there he goes. Hi, friend. Velva. And I might as well take all of this because it's not big enough to be like, oh, I want to come back to this beautiful place. No, it's not big enough. So why not go ahead and take it all? I mean, all I can do is hope that eventually I'll find another one of those beautiful places and go from there. But right now, I just need to get up and actually continue my mind that I kind of just stop doing back to the speed mining So y'all, I see something that looks like a square on my screen, and I'm really hoping that's something good. I might have to make another detour. I know I've already made quite a few detours on this trip, but I might have to make another detour. <gasps> it is what I was hoping it would be. Oh, and it's a skeleton one. Yes. This is exactly what I was hoping this would be. A mob spawner. No. Uh, Are these bat heads? Oh, they are. Oh, I didn't even see I had picked up a hat bag. Okay. I do want to put a couple of torches down. Just because it feels like incredibly dark down here. Okay. And the thing is, I could make my own spawner. Or I could just come and pick this one up and move it. That's. I have easy spawners or easy dungeons, whatever it's called in here. But it is a skeleton. Why don't I see the skeleton? Did this come out? 
What I'll do is I'll leave that in there. Okay. A little bit of bread. And a hat bag, okay. Okay, I am very happy with this find. Let me save this. And I will be back to this because I get makeup. Yeah. Okay. Yay. I am super happy with that. And I think I am going to do that so that nothing can really come. I don't want while I'm going down something to happen. All right. Once again, back to speed mining. Okay, this is actually good because when I want to go to the nether, I just have a clear path to a bunch of lava. That is actually going to be very helpful. Okay, I've done it. I have mined all the way down. I know I said deep slate. But I meant to bedrock, of course. Why else would I keep going? Unfortunately, I didn't find not one diamond on the way down here. But I found some other good stuff. Uh, but at least it's done. So whenever I want to, I can just go in in different areas and look around. Like, But I'm going to make my way up. And I will see y'all when I am back okay we have officially done everything I was supposed to do I've made my vegetable garden and look at it flourishing I was doing stuff with it as I was building that, as I was building the storage. But I do have this lovely area and it is full. I am gonna, I'm thinking about making it bigger because I still need to put some melons out here and actually put an actual pumpkin patch somewhere. Same with the melons, whatever. Then I also have this animal area. I'm more starting to want. Yeah. Anyways, I have this animal area. It's nice and started. I have been breeding them slowly but surely. Just behind the scenes. Y'all like my cape? I love my cape. Isn't it so pretty? I made it myself. It's a shame nobody else can see it really. And then, last but not least, well, second to last but not least, I have my storage area. We've all been in here before. We know what that looks like. I have stuff I need to put up that's in my backpack. And then we have the start to the mine that's over there. Which is everything that I said I wanted to do in this one. We go back over to my board. We've done everything. I've done every single thing on the list. Took a while, but I did it. And so now I actually have a start to stuff. And I'm thinking next time. So I want to do some exploring. I've been doing a lot of building. I'm tired of building for now. I think next time I want to explore that big ship. I don't know if y'all remember seeing it on the mini map. Or the big map. It was this huge looking ship thing. I want to explore. I don't know what's in there. I want to do that. That's probably going to take me a while. Because it looked huge. I want to build a mod farm. I just found a skelly spawner. I want to go ahead and do that. Take some use of that. 
and build it up. I know I just got done building. It's not going to be the prettiest thing, but it's going to be functional because I need to get to enchanting. Like, my stuff is not the best. It's just plain armor. Like, this I found, so that's not too bad. I mean, protection for or projectile protection. It's not bad at all for a pair of leggings, but it is iron. So it's not like, ooh, the best. I do have emerald, which is, as you can see, pretty much when it comes to the toughness, just as good as diamond. A few of these are better than diamonds, but they're up there. I do have it on, like I said before. You really can't see anything due to my cosmetic armor. I don't really want to see it when it's on me. I know I look cute. Look at me. Yeah. And if anything, if I feel like it, if I feel like it, I might build an enchanting area. I moved it over here because I don't know. I might not end up feeling like building the enchanting area once I finish those other two things. And I'm not about to overwork myself. Not right now. This was already a lot. A pohato. Look at the pohato. Oh my goshness. That is the most adorable thing I have seen. Oh my gosh, look at it. It's so cute. I am very tempted to leave this thing on my head. Look at it blinking. It is blinking. Look at it blink. Oh my goodness. I am very tempted, very, very, very tempted to leave this on my head. But I don't know if I want to walk around with a potato on my head. But I look around, like, like it looks kind of funny from behind. It's just very adorable in the, f oh my goodness. Okay. 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 Let's see what this other one is. Antlers. Mm. They look a little weird. Especially with my outfit. I'm not gonna lie. Maybe around Christmas time. Who knows? I think I'm gonna put this back on just because as adorable as that is, I think this fits me a lot better. I I, I just I can't I can't put the oh pahat so but you know what? I'll finish out the video with the pahat on. So guys, thank you so so much for tuning in i really appreciate each and every last one of you like i've said before thank you to everybody who has subscribed it means a lot to me a very very lot you don't understand it does and to everybody commenting thank you so much for all your positive words it makes me feel really good about what i've started here and I can't wait to see how far this goes. I'm really hoping that you all stay with me for a long, long time to come. But if you haven't already, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button, comment, hit that like. Go ahead and share this to all your friends and family everywhere. And yes, let's try to get, get this new family built up. But until next time, make sure you all stay royal.